हेलो एवरीबॉडी दिस इज स्वीटी पिंजानी वेलकम टू स्वीटी स्पीक्स ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे टॉपिक इज सिस्टम वेरी लॉक डेटा टाइप्स इफ यू कुड रिकॉल एनी फ्लैशबैक्स ऑफ डेटा टाइप्स फ्रॉम वेरी लॉक इट विल हेल्प इफ नॉट डोंट वरी आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इट इन अ वेरी इजी लैंग्वेज लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड द फर्स्ट पॉइंट विच वी आर गोइंग टू सी इज the improvement on already existing data types which system very log provides one such example is fixed size arrays we had fixed size arrays in very log also but we didn't have packed and unpacked arrays which is now introduced in system very log what are advantages of these packed and unpacked arrays in system very log we are going to see in the upcoming lectures let's move on to the next point which is new data types which are introduced in system very log they have a lot of benefits let's see them one by one the first data type which we are going to see is two state examples are bit and byte in very log we had reg and wire here we have int short int long int in very log we had integer the difference between very log data types and these two state data types is very log data types were four state which means it can take any value from 0 1 x z but these system very log data types are two state which means only 0 and 1 are the valid values high impedance and unknown are not allowed what advantage can it give if you are a verification engineer there will be times when you want to use loops like for loops now say if your variable in the for loop takes a value x will your loop proceed further no so in such cases for loop variables i am going to use two state variables so that my value is restricted to zeros or ones only now what advantage it can give to rtl engineers now rtl design engineers don't want to synthesize a code which has unknown values or z in such cases they can use these two state data types which will help them to synthesize their code easily the next data type which we are going to see is queues dynamic arrays and associative arrays the major advantages of these data types are lot of built in methods what are these built in methods what are the advantages we are going to see in the upcoming lecture they also have methods for searching and sorting the third data type which we are going to see is union and structures we already have fixed size arrays what is the need of union and structures even array can hold multiple uh, variables the major difference is an array can hold multiple variables but of same type for example if an array is holding variable of integer type it can hold other variables also but only of integer type it can't hold any other variable of byte type but union and structures are allowed to hold or collect the variables of different types together this is the major difference between arrays and union stress slash structures now what is the difference between union and structure the major difference is memory unions use same memory location for all the variables which means at an instance only one variable can be accessed but structures allocate different memories for different variables which means at an instance you can access all the variables of structures in one go union and structures they allow multiple views of same data which means they allow to collect the variables of different data types together the next data type is classes which is used a lot in system very log the advantage is it is a collection of data and methods that operate on the data 
let me give you an example say i have a class which has a data type of payload of 64 bit now the same class is also having a method to transfer this payload from source to destination which means it is a collection of payload and method which operates on this payload the second major advantage is reusability the feature we call it as inheritance we are going to see this in detail when we see oops the next type is enumerated types in digital electronics you would have come across concept called as fsm what used to be the value of fsm states something like idle init start now these values are names when you have such scenarios wherein the value of a variable is name you can use the data type named as enumerated types one idle example is states in an fsm this was a gist of system verilog data types in the upcoming lectures we are going to see all these data types in details along with some more data types so if you want to Stay tuned to such informative videos. Please subscribe to Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel. See you in the next lecture.